introducing a new plugin to generate this type of slit scan effects in DaVinci Resolve. Super Slit Scanner. Let's see how it works. We are in the Fusion page of Resolve with a footage imported. After installing the Fuse file, we can search it in the Node menu of Fusion. Search for the Super Slit Scan effect. Add the node and connect it with the media node like this. Now play the video to see the results on the screen. You can see this is a classic wave-like slit scan effect. On the right side inspector window, we have controls to change the effect and options. Currently, the mode is set to wave, which creates the slit scan effect by taking slices from different moments in time and stitching them together. We can change the resolution in order to change the wave motion, but it will result in a blurrier image. So a value of 5 or 4 is ideal. We can add scan lines like this, which is currently at experimental stage. Note that there is direction option too. You can change the direction from horizontal to vertical by clicking on this checkbox. You can see the difference in the wave motion. The scan direction can also be changed by clicking the reverse direction checkbox. The reload button resets the buffers and restores the effect to its starting state. The alpha slider is used for footage with transparency. This is another example of this effect on a different footage. Let's change the mode and see the next slit scan effect called the stretch mode. This mode stretches a portion of the image by continuously shifting pixels in a chosen direction, creating a smeared or twisted trail behind moving objects. By adjusting the speed, we can change the height of these moving portions. The reference position can also be changed with this position slider. Like the previous mode, we have the ability to change the directions as well. You can see the variations we get. Make sure you reload after changing the mode as these effects uses buffers. This is another example on a different video. Up next, we have a special mode in this plugin, the Time Warp Effect a visual effect you've likely seen across the internet. This mode produces the time freeze scan effect, where a moving line freezes the video frame by frame as it passes across the screen. You can see how cool distorted visuals it can create when we reduce the speed. Like all the previous modes, the scan direction can be changed with these checkboxes. There is a pause slider which pauses the screen after completing each scan. Make sure to reload after tweaking these options. And yes, there are options added to change the width and color of the scan line. Here is another example. Last but not the least, we have the modulation mode which is a special scan effect based on the super modulation plugin. It generates an abstract glitchy look by displacing pixels based on their brightness to create a unique visual texture. We can reduce the number of lines by increasing the speed. The depth of the texture can also be increased to get a clear scan of the main footage. It is necessary to reload after tweaking any option, as all these modes rely on buffers. The direction checkboxes are also available, but note that we have to press the reload button to reset the buffers. The dissolve slider adjusts buffer scan brightness and controls how long the buffer lingers after scanning. In the merge node connected with this slit scan node, we can adjust the blend amount or change the apply mode to make more variations. So, that's all the modes we've included in this version.
I hope you'll support this plugin like my previous ones. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.